All right, let's say the quality control manager requests a producer's risk of 0 0.10. So remember that this is alpha. When P sub 0, so P sub 0 is what's used to actually control the risk, depending on the probability that we have a defect, was 3% and a consumer risk, beta, of 0 0.20, when our P1, in this case, so to control our probability of a percent of a defect for the consumer, was 0 0.15. It says, consider the acceptance sampling plan based on a sample size of 20 and an acceptance number of 1. Now, you have to be careful because if you have an acceptance number of one, that means zero is okay as well, right? So we have to consider both, either the probability of zero or the probability of one. So what we wanna do is first, first figure out what is the producer's risk. So what the producer's risk is, <clears throat> is going to be is one minus, the sum, now notice I'm on my probability of the 3%, the piece of zeros, the 3%. So the probability I would accept based on a 3% defect, and I do both the zero and one. And I get 0 0.11198. All right, so now if I wanna do the same thing to find the, um, what the consumer's risk would be. This one, you don't have to do one minus, it's just straightforward, the probabilities that they give you. And in this case, it would be the sum of zero or one, which would be these two values. So the big question is, and maybe it'd be better to write out here what the quality control manager wants, and it looks like this is okay. It's below our probability of a consumer risk, below the 20%. But this one is above. So the consumer risk would be acceptable, but the producer risk would not be.